What's up, boss? What's going on, Greg? I'm trying to figure out how this fits together. Um, with a dovetail? Do you even know what that is? A dove's tail? Yeah. I saw a movie about that once. Did you? Yeah. I didn't. It was a talking dog and basketball and... Wasn't that Airbud? Same thing. Oh. So dovetail. Yeah. I feel like you're trying to tell me something. Well, there's the end of this. And it's not straight at an angle. That has the opposite angles. And it slides in here and holds tight. Looks like a trapezoid. Why don't they just call it a trapezoid? I don't know. So this dove's tail is how that thing puts together? Yeah. There's actually three different dovetails on this indicator. And you could attach this with this dovetail. You could uh, attach it from back here. You so these dovetails, I have my Audi and my Innie, and I have to make my Audi fit inside my Innie. Um, however you want to remember it. Where did you get this? I found it on the floor. It's got my initials on it. I thought that was the Roman numeral for the year it came out. No, this is two years old. So, what so is did Roman you go in my KP? toolbox and did you grab this? I did. Was I not supposed to? Do I go in your toolbox and grab your tools? What toolbox? Do I go and take any of your stuff without asking? No, but I give it to you in a heartbeat. That's not the point. You're right. So, you didn't find this on the floor. It doesn't appear to be broken. So, how did you know to grab this? It was right next to it. All right, well, that makes sense. And I saw you grab something similar like that before. Right. I just want to grow up to be like you. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. For some reason, I just thought of us walking in the mountains in the Himalayas. You're weird. Very self-aware to that. So what exactly does this guy do? Well, this is a uh, indicator holder. It is a rigid way to hold that indicator. Right now, it's just kind of whatever. It's more turgid. And this allows you to put this up in a collet inside of a machine, manual or CNC. And when you tighten this up, everything gets super uh... rigid so it doesn't move. So that way, your indicator stays perfectly still. So that way, whatever you're indicating is accurately being represented on the dial face of the indicator. That makes 100% sense. So this is typically assembled together like this. And tightened up. And it goes in the spindle of a machine. And it can rotate to tell you if a, surf, if a hole is on center with your spindle. It can be stationary to tell you if something is straight. If it is square. How long have you had this? A couple of years. And how often do you use it? Every once a month. To do what? I use this to check tools. I think I actually caught that. There you go. No. You thought wrong. So I use this in the um, in the lathes to verify that drills are on center, taps are on center, and that tool holders are square and parallel with axes. Well, I've seen it before. It had that magnet on it, and you used it in the, uh, you know, that Puma. Yes. So you're saying that's the same thing, but I can put it in something that holds it, and then it'll rotate? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, never, right. Never with power. Got this. You never want to spin this in a spindle with power. Everything is manual. What do you think I do has power? That, that's fun. That's still not the point. <laughs> <laughs> right between your eyes. Yeah, I know. So the moral of the story is don't touch boss man's tools and I need to indicate the stuff if I want to make sure that I'm making good parts. Yeah, pretty much. That's the gist of this lesson on what is a dial indicator. What is a dial indicator to you? It's a tool that I use to prove that a setup is... So what does it mean to you, boss man? I want to feel it. Good parts.
heard from the NHL. Good parts. Are you the FNG in the shop? The fancy new guy? Well, I am too. Follow my journey and watch Machining 101, where Kenny teaches me everything I need to know about machining and manufacturing. Visit us at thepeoplemanufacturing.com for all you FNGs out there. This episode of Machining 101 was brought to you by Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Sunny's is the largest conveyorized car wash manufacturer in the world. For more information, visit sunnysdirect.com. Well, looks like it's time to go. Yep, I'm going to go put my tools away.